Hello guys and welcome to Unity Dev Tutorial. Today's tutorial is on making a 3D character or modeling a 3D character in Unity 3D. So basically what all things we require. First of all we want to model a 3D character. So obviously we require a 3D character. And the second part is uh, modeling software. If you don't have a modeling software you can get the model downloaded from online sources. There are a lot of online sources which provide free 3D models with royalty free and all that. So what are we going to do today is in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you if you don't have any modeling software like Maya and uh, uh, Blender and all that if you are not used to making modelings and animation in that you can go online and get the models downloaded and the other part which uh, we require in developing a 3D character in Unity is rigging it because if you don't have a rigging on a character you will not be able to apply animations to it so this is what a basic important to us for making a 3d character so let's get started and let's do it i'll give you a step by step guidance in where you can get the 3d models downloaded plus how you can reach your character online so let's get started now here i have i've gone to cgtraders.com you can see this cgtraders.com and i found this character this one and I got it downloaded because Unity support FBX OBJ 3D so all the files are available if, if you are habitual of using blender you can make the changes in the character with the help of dot blender file so I have downloaded this one and what you can do is you can go to any other software uh, sorry you can go to online like Google and go to 3D models. So there are, there are a lot of online sources from where you can get the 3D models downloaded. So I'll just give you like Turbo Squid. Turbo Squid. This is the most largest and popular site which provide 3D models. Let me click and open it. Then you can go to cgtraders.com. Easy traders and here also you can get models for your development here I have downloaded my character from this side 3D models now you go to mixamo.com you want to take your character so just google and go to mixamo mixamo this is mixamo the first and foremost thing it will ask you to do is to log in. I already have my login account, so I have logged in. And then you go to your products if you have anything. If you want to model a character, go to auto rig your character, rig your character, and there you can see all these things. Like animations you want to do, female locomotion, female dispatch, and all that. It also have its own character, Mixamo. It also has their own character, so you can get a character from here as well. But we want our predefined character to be rigged, so there's an option for upload. Now what I did is I already downloaded this character, and I I have it in my folder. So I just do. Just try and drop it. I have downloads. Here I have the character. I'll just go in the model unity. Oh sorry, wait, hold on. Hold on. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Hold on. Mix ammo. Here I am. So I have to upload my character over here. So I'll just try it. Go to my and drop it here. Now I will tell you the complete process of rigging your character in Mixamo because even I am not that handy with Maya and all that of software which are available to Monday because I am a developer. Yeah, here is your character is still loading. So what we have to do here we can see a next button. Now this Mixamo has already loaded our character so what we have to do the next. Next, we have to rig this character. What rigging actually is when 
you have a module we already only have a raw model it does not have any reading like it this model does not know keywords in these in these are uh, where the alphas are where the chain is so you click on next and then you have to place this point so this point is of chain you can see this this point was of chain now rest we have to apply it you can go for use symmetric or you want to do it manually if i click on view symmetrics it will automatically plot the second point where i have plotted my first point to the next part middle part now this is elbow yeah yeah knees knees and groin so i have placed all my points correctly then you can see there is a next button. Just click on that. Sorry for my this recording screen. Yeah. Click on next. Now what it says is fails auto rating. Our instance I'm going to take up to two minutes. So it might take more than two minutes to get this character right. So have patience. So because of this mix ammo, uh, rigging is very easy now. Now you can see that our character is wrecked. Let this loading get managed and then you can go to the next procedure. You can see that this character is moving. So now we can go to next. Go to next and give in my asset. Now you might be wondering that I have my character, I got rigged my character, now how could I find the animations for this character. So this Mixamo provides animation for this. So you can see on the right hand side, your character a bit rigging means you will be taken back to the rigging process and find animation. So I will just click on find animation. It takes time guys, it takes time. Have patience. Maybe I don't know why it's taking time because earlier I did it wasn't taking time. So now it is about about 99 time. But the server is slow, okay. My internet is fast, the server is slow. You might be updating it. So this is up till now uh, what you have learned is how you can get the character downloaded from the alternate stores, how to import it in Mixamo, how to rig your character and now we are going on a process of finding animations to our character which we have already written. So these are all the animations which Mixamo provided for free. And if you just click on any of the animation, this animation will be automatically applied to your character. So I'll just show you. Now look at this. This is a closing closing animation. And if I click on this closing animation, this will be applied to our character which we have recently correct. I don't know why the server is slow today. It takes it's taking time to apply these animations.
from that field then uh, we can uh, we can create a folder for our animations in Unity. So create folder folder and I name it as model. Yeah. Another folder for animations. Animations. So these two folders I have made. And let's see if that animation is done. Yeah, the animation is done now. So let's just loading part finish and we'll just download this model and we can apply it to our Unity game. Okay, let's click and add to my assets. Let's view and download. So, Q download one, click on the Q download. Yeah, here you can see that you download it there, and then you can keep down. Yeah, so downloading, go to queue and download. So I am downloading this file and it got downloaded and you can come to the folder there it is and now I will import it to my modules just drag it and drop it to your unity folder models and we see that it's importing our model to Unity. There we go. Here we have our model. And, and I guess I have the animation here. I cannot see this because of this one. So I'll show you right away. Yeah. You can see this, this tabs, inspector panel, and go and click on model. Sorry, go and click on animations and then make it big. Let's just extend it. Yeah. And when I hit play, you see that that animation is playing. So in the next uh, two video, we can go on and make a full-fledged modeling in Unity. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next video.